suppose my hair is all over the place. <sighs> you say I've gotten stouter, <sighs> but it's not true. I'm not a bit stouter. <laughs> How dare you sit down in my presence? Get up! Get out of here! <sighs> really, Olga? I can't understand why you keep that old woman in the house. She's quite useless here. You're spoiling her. I know I quite often say things which would be better left unsaid, but you must agree with me, dear. She's a peasant. She'd be better off in the country somewhere. <sighs> Either I don't understand you, or you don't want to understand me. She can't do any work. She just sleeps or sits about. things out, Olga. You're working at your school, and I'm running the household. And when I say something about the servants, I know what I'm talking about. How, how dare you vex me so? How dare you? Really? If you don't move downstairs, we'll always be quarreling. This is really quite dreadful. <laughs> Masha, you've got something against my wife, Natasha. And I've noticed it since the day I got married. Natasha is a lovely person. Honest and straightforward. And well brought up, in my opinion. I love my wife and I respect her. Do you understand? I respect her. And I want you to respect her too, Irina. I repeat, she is a lovely person. And all your little remarks and attitudes... Well, excuse me, but you're just being stuck up. In the second place, Olga, you all seem mad at me because I'm not a professor or a scientist or something. But I have an occupation. I'm a member of the county council, and I consider that just as honorable and just as respectful as an intellectual career. I'm a member of the county council, and I'm proud of it. In the third place, I still have something more to say. I mortgaged this house, and I didn't get your permission. It's my fault, and I'm sorry. But I owed a lot of money. Thirty-five thousand. <laughs> I don't gamble anymore. It's in the past. But the main thing is you're all girls. You get a military pension, and I don't. I don't have any income at all. Again, it's my fault, and I just... Hey, ask you to forgive me. You all go. I'll be there in a second. Dear Professor, <laughs> how funny life is. Today I was bored. I had nothing to do. And I opened this book, my old lecture notes from the university. <laughs> and I started to laugh. member of the county council. <laughs> the same council that Protopovov was chairman of. I'm the secretary. And the highest honor I could hope to achieve is to become a full member. Me. A member of the local county council. And every night, I dream. I'm a professor at the University of Moscow. A famous scientist. The pride of Russia. <sighs> Whatever happened to the past? When I was young. And happy. And in 
intelligent. When I dreamed wonderful dreams and, and thought great thoughts. When my life and my future were shining with hope. What happened to it? We barely begin to live. And all of a sudden we're old. And boring. And lazy and useless. And unhappy. This town has a hundred thousand people in it. And not one of them has ever amounted to a thing. Each one is just like all the others. They eat, drink, sleep, and then they die. And then more of them are born. And they eat, drink, and sleep too. And then because they're bored, they gossip. They drink, they gamble. They sue each other. The wives cheat on the husbands. And the husbands lie. They pretend they don't see anything. And the children end up just as aimless and dead as their parents. Andre! I'll be there in a second! <laughs>